Okay, this one's going to be. Let's see how this one goes. Let's see how we go. This one should be virtually roughly the size of a business card, except it's irregular. It's been torn, so it's not going to be like exactly like a business card, but it's going to basically be rough. The general size of it will be a business card. So I'm wondering, maybe we can lighten that up because we've got some dots on this one, and we want the dots to show up, not be covered, run out, not be bamboozled or obscured by too much background and I wonder what background colour we're going to add to this one it's a tough one I'm trying to think we're going camel I'm going to add some contrast. We're going to leave out brightness and leave that out. And we're just going to use our... We're going to do it differently for a change. And the sharpness will help show up the dots as well. And the colour balance. Okay. And the black. We're just going to leave the black as is. And we've got to enlarge it, so we're going to go, we're just going to get the original and see roughly how big it is. It is a Pepsi Max ripped off, I presume, a, pe a box of it. A box of Pepsi Max, I found this not far from my unit. Interesting. A little fragment of, of um, a Pepsi Max box. A box of Pepsi Max, obviously someone had a party, it must have been around Christmas time. Chances are, so I'm wondering how big we're going to make it. We're going to have to be intuitive here. So let's see how we, we can do it. We're going to use this one. So how big are we going to make it? So we're going to make it 320 for now. Let's see how it goes. But yeah, this is something different. But yeah, there were parties ne next door to this unit block that I'm living in. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe they left it there in front of their house or near their house. Or maybe a bit further down the street. It may not have been them. I don't know who. Who really gives a fuck? I found it. I'm making use of it. And that's just it. It's going in the recycle bin, if I'm correct. Although I might leave it for other toner heads to play with. I don't know. But let's see how it goes. Okay, now that's an interesting result. I'm wondering if maybe we can, we, sure this looks good, we'll keep it like that, but I think we're going to need a colour that's going to balance this out. It's too yellow, we need red or magenta. We need red or magenta to make the balance a little bit better. Camel's too yellow, we don't want yellow in this case. So what are we going to use? Honestly, what are we going to use for this? It's either going to be red or magenta. So we're going red and we're going here and I'm wondering if we're just going to just use the colour balance to up the colours and see what happens if, if the red comes out nice and red even though we're not using the RGB function, the red, blue, green function red. So let's see how this turns out. Okay, let's see if we've made it more balanced. Well, it looks, the red here looks kind of wishy-washy. So I'm wondering if we can we can go further and maybe make it better than that if we use the red function. We have to kill off the contrast when we get here so the contrast will disappear when I use this. So we're going to use that and therefore we can use the red. So the red comes into play now 
and see if that improves it. And sharpness is the same. Copy density has gone because of that. Oh, fuck how complicated our photocopy is, eh? Oh, fuck me dead. All right. So now let's see if it, if it turns up a treat. Maybe, oh, I think it's glossy. I think that the original has a coating of gloss over it. I was thinking for a moment it was a matte finish black and that's why the red came out wishy-washy. But let's see if it looks good now, now that we've added the red into it. Yes, it's improved. Now I've got it. You can see now that this demonstrates the use of red. That looks good. That's a lot nicer. Got to go.